Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create video files using MATLAB. Specifically, we're going to create graphs just like what you see at the center of the screen. And at the end of running this file, it'll be saved as a .mp4 that you can refer to later. Here's the .mp4 playing back at a later time. Of course then, you can use this video to embed it in a presentation, use it for a school project, or whatever your application is. The code is fairly straightforward. It's about 35 lines, and feel free to just copy all of this and use it for your own will. I'm going to go through this in greater depth now. In general, we're going to take this approach. We're going to plot a cosine curve and then tweak one of the variables in that using a for loop. We're going to then replot that curve with the tweaked parameter every time in this for loop, save each of the frames, basically each of the plots that we create, and then write that to a video file. Here's how we do this. Let's start by creating a writer object using the video writer function the first input is going to be the name of the video file, and you'll want to use a mpeg-4 file extension. Then, we need to open that writer object to initialize it. At this point, I'm defining some parameters for our cosine curve. If you'll notice, the x variable here is staying constant during all the iterations. It's this matrix that we're using for all the x values. Then I'm adding in a phase angle right here. This phase angle is what we're looping over. So every iteration, this phase angle will change, giving us a new array Y, and that gives us the moving shape of the cosine curve that we see when doing the iterative plotting. The next thing we need to do is create a figure object. We'll use the figure call, and then give this figure a name. When we get into the for loop, I've got this call right here. This is essential because it makes up our plot. Remember, this changes each loop because we're changing this phase angle. This phase angle starts out at zero, increments by 0.2, and ends at 50. Here we plot the new curve, x versus y, and then I'm providing the title information and the label information so our axes look nice. You can add in an optional pause if you want the plotting to stop in between. This is the number of seconds that it will pause. I don't need that right now. And then you need to do the actual video work. So here we're going to call get frame on our figure that we created right here and this is the figure that we're plotting on, get frame, and we're gonna save that to F. Then we write F in the next call to write that current frame to the writer object. That writer object is what we created at the start, and this is what's storing our video file throughout. We use the write video function to write the current frame F to the writer object. We do that over all the loops, which is going to be all the T values here. And then at the end, all we do is close the writer object using the close call. And I'm simply displaying that everything was written successfully. So we know after running this script that everything's outputted fine. Go ahead and run this. It's a little laggy right now because I'm running some other video software, but you can see every single increment here. We're plotting x versus y, which is why the x is staying constant here, but we're varying the phase angle, that t value that we're doing the loop over. We're basically plotting over and over and over again, and you're seeing the curve shift slowly to the left because we're changing that phase angle. Once we've finished plotting all the different phase angles here, what'll happen is then we end the video file writes successfully, and the video will pop up right here with the name 
that we gave the writer object upon initialization. You can't open this video file straight from your MATLAB IDE. You'll need to go into your computer, your file explorer, however you view files, and then you can click that and view it as such. Hope this helped. I love making videos. They're a fun way to kind of show the work that you're doing, especially in a temporal manner. Thanks for watching and have a great day.